the Christmas episode 92 round of applause. Please. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the Usual Podcast, episode 92. Merry, Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you for sharing your Christmas with the Usual you Podcast. We love you so much. But if you're new here, if you don't already, you can please see the subscribe button. Is it pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that and you say that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. Oh, does the You Should Know podcast have a Christmas gift for you? I'm about to announce our next two live shows. Woo! Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? February 17th, we're doing a show in Tampa, Florida. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be at the Capitol Theater in Clearwater, and those tickets are available right now. The link is in the description below. Hey, I have a list, right? And now that there's fur on my tongue, it's going to be 10 times worse. You know what I mean? We have another live show to announce. This one means a lot to Santa Peta. It means a lot to me. You know why? I'm coming home to Austin, Texas, March 1st, right on my birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, that's right. All right, February 17th, the day after my birthday, the whole gang's going to Tampa, Florida, the Capitol Theater in Clearwater. The tickets are available right now. Let's have a big birthday bash together. It's our first time out there. We've been seeing the comments for about a year. Now come to Tampa, come to Tampa. We're coming to Tampa February 17th. And then it's been a dream of mine to perform in front of my hometown with all my hometown friends, family, the whole You Should Know gang is going to be able to go. It's going to be a very, very, very special show, a show unlike the rest. And if you want to see me cry, that will be the show where the wet works will water. You know what I mean? Tell your grandma I said hello. That is going to be March 1st. Those tickets are not available yet, but be sure to follow us on Instagram at PSH8, at CamKennedy22, and at you should know podcast to get those updates. The Koala Club has known about this since last week, and that is the benefit of being in the Patreon. So if you want to join the Patreon, get early access to stuff, that link is in the description below. This is going to be a very, very, very special Christmas episode. And now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Step into 2024 with confidence thanks to Manscaped, where resolutions are met and hairs are neatly kept. As the new year approaches, why not make self-improvement a breeze by keeping your body well groomed? Guess what, Cam Win? What? what We're sorry. introducing Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, the ultimate all-inclusive kit designed to help you feel clean cut and confident as you should. Featuring the powerhouse Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, then this next gen trimmer ensures precision and ease when tackling your toughest hairs. So kick off 2024 with a trim above the rest. Use code PSH at manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping. Kim, what was your highlight of 2023? What are you looking forward to in 2024? But I want to hear about your body. Mm, okay, well, the stubble finally came in. Hello, um, good so morning. You know I had to take care of that. I had to trim it up, but also my balls never stink anymore. Ooh, why? No more stinky crack, no more swamp sewers because of the crop preserver. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't a believer. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I wasn't a believer at first. I put that thing on. Oh, good morning to you. Hello. You hot, smell like hot coffee. I, sometimes I can just go like that, and I, oh, I'm okay with it. If you can sniff that, that's a far reach, and that's pretty impressive. New year, new you. And definitely a new trimmer. Manscaped's got your grooming resolutions covered going into the new year. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That is 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using our code PSH. Happy New Year to your balls. And now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Honey. There's too many cookies. Can you bring me some milk? Of course, sweetheart. Come here, baby girl. Oh, oh my. You said you needed milk? Oh, your knees are so good. <laughs> oh. I left the North Pole <laughs> to help my husband. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Thank you. You got that milk behind you, if you know what I mean. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Mrs. Claus, you look like a glass of milk on this fine Christmas morning. How are you doing today? Hello, you can see. Uh, Christmas is great. Loving it. It's very cold. <laughs> we just started, dog. It's, well, all right. Well, you look so good. Thanks, Papa. Hello, I like, I like Hello, Santa. I, 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 we're going to have a good Christmas together. You know what I mean? You're going to make you're gonna make my Christmas warm. You're going to snuggle me under that mistletoe. Good morning. Oh, you actually have a mistletoe on your forehead. Yeah, it's beautiful, is it not? Oh, no, we're not in the North Pole, honey. No, okay. Oh, we should have brought Ruby. She could have been Rudolph. We put the nose on her. Oh, we could have been a we could have been a whole Christmas family. Then she would have seized, and her large rib cage would have been. It just, it wouldn't have been a good look. I'm so happy we're able to be here for another Bring year for another Christmas episode. I love you so much. I love you too. I love you so much. Daddy, um, Santa, Daddy. Okay, now yeah. your outfit. Yeah. Let's, let's break this down a little let's bit. Let's talk through this. You are Mrs. Claus. I am a bad bitch. <laughs> you in, are. In every way, shape, or form. And I want to say this, all right? So I went out to get these Christmas outfits for the whole gang. I said, Cam, I'll be Santa. You can be Santa. We'll just both be Santa. Cam goes, no, no, no. I want to be Mrs. Claus and make sure you give me something that my rectum is nice and tight and firm. Did you not say that in front of everybody and uh, on Jesus' birthday lie? Okay. <laughs> I said I want to be Mrs. Claus. I was thinking more of a promiscuous one, something that you know has a little spite, a little paprika. You yeah. know, I didn't want to be an eighty-year-old granny that's sitting there making like oatmeal in a pot. <laughs> you gave me the the most like, excuse me, you gave me the most basic damn. I mean, I'm still gorgeous. She's still gorgeous. I'm not gonna I'm lie. For it, I'm not gonna lie to you, Cam. We went to pee right before this, as we do. We have a pee pee ritual. We hold each other's swords right before, like right across the urinals. He touches the cheek if I'm having a hard time starting up the motor. You know what I mean? Do you ever have that hard time when you're peeing, where um, it, it feels like there's a cinder block right on the tip of your pee pee? No. And you you gotta you gotta you gotta really you gotta stretch that abdominal muscle. Uh, medication is what is needed in your in your <laughs> extremely near future. No, but it doesn't hurt. No, oh no, but you still need medicine. But if I pull my pants down, even if I'm not by a toilet, urine will start to come out of me. Wait, really? Yeah. You have loose pee-pee syndrome. Oh, no. I just can control my urine. And if I need to pee, I... You've never wet the bed? Hello. When I was younger. When's the last time you I wet, wet the, the bed? I wet the bed so bad one time. My, my parents had to go uh, uh, rent a shop bag. What's a shop bag? Is that what you do the heart? What? Shop bag. Is that what you... Sh Clear! No, a, a shop vac bag. is a vacuum made for liquids, so you suck the liquid out of the mattress or the carpet. At that point, I think it's time to get a new mattress. Probably I think couldn't afford it, so we did the $20 rental of the shop vac. <laughs> just sucking urine. Imagine the next person that spilled like a glass of wine. They're just like, hold on. Reeking piss. That was your childhood mattress? Yeah. When I was a child. What size was it? I don't know. I, I was a child. Like a queen? No. <laughs> no, that's what I'm never, saying. No, I, I, no. That was the same childhood mattress that I've spent the night on. No, that's not. I was about to no, say it was like like kid, like a full, a twin, like young kid. But I was saying about your pee pee, right? When we were holding swords, and I couldn't access Cam's sword because normally he just pulls his trousers down all the way to ankle. He shows butt cheeks in the. That's a weird thing you do. I don't show my ass. Yes, you do. When I take a piss. You're built like a pit bull back there. So I'm like, is there a dog in here? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not built like a pit. He had to lift his skirt up and pee. I did. Yeah, and we we ran into our lovely security here at the yeah, studio. Yeah, and he he probably thought we were had some external factors going <laughs> You're on. Like, is there a weird Christmas party he's having like, in S week? Like, Are there drugs in your system at this exact moment in time? I said, no, sir. I'm just Mrs. Claus. No, I was putting on my Christmas outfit and I was definitely feeling like I'm like the that homeless guy outside the seven eleven or Christmas time. <laughs> I can't no, say. at the beginning, no, you probably can say that. At the, before he threw the beard on, he literally looked like he was just in a red gi, like ready for like a jiu-jitsu tournament. Like, he, he, you did not look anything like Santa. Is Christmas your favorite? Your hat is so erect. I am you erect. My hat is very erect right now. You would think there's something holding that up. Yes. But then the the, t the, fla the tip's flaccid. It's just, it's just. Imagine weird. that. Just gummy worm. Your shaft is, oh my God, what did we just create? That is a, cre you're getting close. Don't go up my skirt. That is not manly. 
That is not manly. Don't oh, do that. Oh, that's what's not manly about this situation. Don't do that. <laughs> We're tiptoeing on the line. Okay, so you have three balls on your head. Hey, you my could make head it five. Is itching oh my god no i had to take the beard off because during the intro oh. i was feeling it i was feeling itchy but what's your favorite christmas memory Ooh. okay for one year for whatever reason i couldn't wait for christmas morning so i literally woke up middle of the night ripped open my gift realized i was eight don't know how to rewrap things i went back to sleep yeah woke up the next morning my parents got on to me and asked me right in front of them and said don't you lie to my face did you open this last night and i went of course I didn't. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It's just, that's the only one that always sticks. And the fact that I thought my parents gave me $20,000 and it was just 20 bones. Oh my God. You just reminded me of something. One day for Christmas, right? I remember this. I can't believe I haven't said this on the podcast before. So, you Hello. know, you know, stocking stuffers. Yes. You oh my get God. your manscaped one. 20% free oil. Should be using code PSH. Check out. Great stocking stuffer. Uh, actually, Christmas is today. You're too late. You need a big stocking. <laughs> but th this is the thing. It's a thing in the Harden household. I'm a Harden. Excuse me. You're a little, you're a little nasty, little Mrs. Claus today. Excuse me. This is the thing, right? Right. So stocking suffers. Yes. It's a thing in our Harden tradition. We don't put much in them. Well, I was just about to ask, what do you put in? I'm so. You're right. Uh, you're right. No, it's you. Santa. It's, <laughs> no, no means no. no. <laughs> Go. Okay. It's a thing. My underwear. I'm literally gonna have two and a half testicles. How far my underwear is cutting off my right nut right now? You ever had? You ever had a butter knife and put it on a grape? Ooh, you know what I mean? It's not half bad. That's just ha what? If you're pushing the- Are you like a pain guy? No. <laughs> you're like, let's kick him. You're like, no, stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. Oh, stop. Okay, good morning. No, my nuts hurt. Listen, stocking stuffers. Yes. You were talking about butter knives and grapes, and you're talking about me stocking stuffers. Listen, right? Stocking stuffers. Yes. So what we what we do is we give lottery tickets in our stocking stuffers yes. to everybody oh, all the time. All the, I've never won one ever. I've never won one. I've never won real significant money. So that's the thing. Gave one to my dad, right? And my dad, you know, sh bad shoulders. Yeah. He's like, oh damn. Also, if you've ever seen him try to read something that's not on a billboard, he needs help. Yeah. And about. <laughs> I'd say two to four minutes to locate his glasses, put them at the perfect location, and get to it. Yeah. And one, he doesn't have the side right here. Yeah, he yeah, has no. no side. He's balancing every time. It's like a, a, an onicle. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? An oracle arena. Steph Curry, 30 points. It's monocle. Monocle, like the peanut bro. Let me talk. You. This is what's happening. He got his uh, lottery ticket, right? Mm -hmm. He was scratching it. We were all doing it, pressing. Twenty dollars. He always wins twenty dollars. It's good, good for him. Oh. Peyton, nothing. Go home sad. Cool. You're gonna have a lonely birthday. No one's gonna tell you happy birthday. The power's gonna be off. It's gonna be snowing. You're gonna be stuck inside. No water. Devastated, sweaty loneliness. <laughs> Except for Tampa, I'm happy, y'all. Listen. So my dad was going. My dad was going right, and he goes, "What? The f what? The f and he runs into the kitchen, like to get away to get his glasses. Mm. He gets his glasses. He's looking. He's like, hundred thousand. $100,000. I want $100,000. And I've never seen pure excitement out of my dad like that. And it felt good to see Mark that happy. Because mm -hmm. I feel like since he had me, it hasn't been Just there. devastated. Just so, so disappointed. So, so, if I start crying. So, I'm like, you, we gotta go. So we're like, oh shit, $100,000. We're, we're good. Parents can retire. We're good. Bad, I, bad group <laughs> of money. Bad, underst bad understanding of finances. Didn't Horrid know. understanding. Didn't know. So he was happy like a kid. Like I saw Mark, a light in his eyes I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. I was so happy for him. Gives it to my mom. Mama goes, oh no. Oh, that's the worst first thing you can hear from someone when you think you just want 100 grand. He goes, no, what, what, what? She goes, what? She goes, she goes, this isn't a real lottery ticket. And I go, he goes, no, nah, shut the fuck up. No, nah, no, nah, it is. Look, I scratched it. It's 100,000. And my brother goes, I went to Hot Topic. <laughs> I went to Hot Topic, Dad. It was a prank. I've never seen my dad shut down so quick. Like he got hit with a liver shot. <laughs> Just, you ever have one of those memories where you're laying in bed at night? It's either an embarrassing memory or a sad memory and it changes your whole mood. I'm 24 years old and I still think about that when my dad shut down. Bro, that's no, my, 
Okay, at least the, at least his was the fake. Dude, my dad loves the fake scratch off tickets. He's never given me one, but he loves them. He's like, he's like, I love that shit, man. They think they win a million dollars. They turn it around and says redeem at your mama's house. He's like, I love that shit. He Wait, said, I love seeing poor bastards just getting ripped off thinking they won money. I'm like, damn. <laughs> no, that's evil. No, yeah, that's that's, that's evil. But at least he had a reason to think he won. Yeah. My parents literally got me a gift card. Okay. Think about how stupid I am. Okay. They literally got me a gift card. On the amount, it said two zero dot zero zero. Okay. Okay. Remember how I said I thought I won $20,000? <laughs> yeah. Even if that dot looked like a comma, that's $2,000. It's not even close. And it's in the wrong spot. <laughs> $2,000, commas in the wrong spot. What the hell was I reading? I've never been good what at decimal points, though. Do you get that? That's the thing about, because we got two, three teachers in here, actually. No. We have one teacher, one, two ex-teachers. Two ex-teachers. Okay, form, we have people in the education system. Ooh, okay, cool. Yeah, ooh, English. I'm yeah. good at it. All right. Not. I, don't, I don't understand at a certain point, right? Why am I learning that? You know what I mean? You're giving me I letters in my shit. I 100% agree. I spent two months retaking a test about a radius and circumference. That you've never used in real life. Hey, tell me what that is now. <laughs> Ask me. Couldn't. Can tell you. Bro, I have said this, especially spending a year in education, bro. There's, to a certain extent, yeah. it, it needs to branch off like college. Yeah. If you are going to be an engineer, you got to know that shit. Yes, exactly. You use it every day. Trade school. Bro, it literally should be like that. Yeah. You, like, not every kid needs trigonometry. Exactly. Not every kid needs pre-calculus. Like, 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 I understand you need to know math to a certain extent, but once you get into that, that should be a choice. I would, li like, I would be willing to say after geometry and, like... Algebra one, You're you don't done. really even need that. But yeah. like, if four y plus two x is twenty, like yeah. you should be able to figure that out. I remember I got after that. It's like if you don't need it, you don't need. I it. I got into it. There's me and my math and teacher, money. Me and my math teacher had a good like relationship, so I was able to banter with her about stuff. Mm -hmm. And I told her like I was trying to take a test, and I was like, I want my calculator. Like, and she was like, no, you, the whole point is you have to figure it out, like, knowing the thing. And I was like, Bullshit. I said, why? Like, what am I gaining? Yeah. Like, if I can figure it out on my calculator, I'm going to be good. And she goes, well, then you won't actually know it. I was like, so tell me this. In some foreign fairy tale land, <laughs> whenever I graduate and I get this math problem in front of me with a gun on my head. Yeah. I don't have a phone on me. <laughs> I can't use my TI-84. I can't use Socratic. I can't Google. I can't be like... What's the answer hey, to this? Siri, give me this answer. Exactly. And okay. Oh my God, and math. Oh my You're God, last thing me. about math. Last thing about math. I don't give a shit how I got to the answer. If it's right, you give me credit. Exactly, oh, bro. Oh I don't care God. if I use, I got it off of Jimmy oh Bowie. God. I don't, oh, well, if you cheated, that's different. But if I, <laughs> if you do it in six steps, and my brain is wired different because I'm different. Ho, 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 Santa's here. Ho, ho, ho. Hate and zero, intrusive thoughts of one. <laughs> Damn it, I was about to jump into song with you. Ho, 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 Santa's here. Ho, 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 Cam is near. I left the North Pole. He I left, left the North Pole. To help my husband. I'm her husband. Make all those toys. Make all those toys. And beat the shit out of the reindeer. <laughs> He needed milk. I needed milk. To help him swallow cookies. Help me swallow cookies. He needed somebody grease. I need somebody grease. To go down the chimney. Go down the chimney. Excuse me. That was actually really athletic. It was decent. Okay, let go of me. Let go of me. Let the go ankle of me. lock! The ankle! Oh! The ankle lock! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's Santa Spider-Man. I don't know. Now look, do you remember being a kid? I was about to say the craziest. Do you remember being a kid? Please, I'm dying. Oh my God. Do you remember? Can I say what I was gonna say? Yeah. I was gonna say, you sure we can't just? I need, I need Jesus. Do you remember being a kid? I think everyone does. So, but some things I blocked out. You've heard, you're scratching ass and pulling up draws. Dude, I don't like these draws because they're light blue. And every time That's I take... That's not light blue. Are it's you, nowhere near light are blue. You, That's not like light you blue. You can see the sweat. That's not light blue. 
That is light blue. That's not light blue. That is light blue. That's not light blue. You're lucky that Hannah's here because I would have taken his all off. That's not light blue. There's nothing about that that's light blue. Light blue is... That's not light blue. There's fucking holes. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's holes in your drawers. No. There's holes. There's a there is a perfect. It it almost it almost looks like like you took a vaccine in the sphincter. There is a perfect. I'm talking. It it is a perfect triangle of three points. I swear to God. It's so high. Like you fart with anger. If that if that if a fart made that, bro, that shit like this is your hole. Them bitches were up here. It's shooting like darts out. It's like. Oh my God! You sicko. You're That's sick. But I'm saying when I take these draws off, Santa. when I take these draws off every time, there's always a wet streak right there on the crack. You know what I mean? Don't wink at me. Don't you know, wink at me. You know what I mean? Yes. Right there on the crack. Because I accumulate a lot of wet. Right That's there. what I sweat too, for sure. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, you remember being a kid? <laughs> yes. All right. So whenever I was a kid, right? <sighs> Long haired or before that? All the time. Okay. Bald. Dip. <laughs> you felt my dip the other day. Dude, his dip was bad. It's getting worse. He literally said, scratch my dip. And I said, all right. I was itching. I literally went up there. My hand went. <laughs> talking. It was a, it was a dude. I'm balding? No, no. <sighs> Kid, all the time. So, there, there's a couth that comes with play dates. I like that You word. remember play dates? Dude, play dates with the best. Yeah, I didn't get allowed on a lot of them. I can see that. Did. Uh, <laughs> Something about Caucasians. Ask it. Ask it. Oh. So look, I, one of the things that there was always like these rules that my mom told me I don't know, before you go to a play date, right? And this was instilled in me and still as an adult, when I go to a foreigner's house, I don't do. Okay. And I want to know if you agree, uh, had these same rules. Okay. Like rule number one, you don't go into the primary bedroom 100%. where the parents sleep. 100%. You don't do that. My dad, my mom didn't tell me that. My dad did. He said, man, you never go look at another couple's bed. You don't know. ever go in there. You don't see that. That is sanctuary. Yeah. You don't do that. Okay. Rule number two, right? And this is a lot of, this is a big problem that a lot of my friends had when they came to my house. Now my mom and dad wouldn't trip, right? They wouldn't be like, get out. But you don't open a foreigner's fridge. You don't, you don't willingly just go open, open a fridge. That's not your fridge. You don't see what's in there. You don't look at their vegetables and meat. That's see, their vegetables and meat. That, I, I can't agree on that one. Well, I know when you, because you're, you're built like a trash truck. Yeah. And what you do is you go like this, and you take every, you're like a raccoon at 2 a.m. 100%, that's me. Grizzly bear in the forest, somebody left their trash You're a New York City rat. I, that, now that's low. That's low. Those bitches, they can speak. They speak Italian, and they don't smell good. Those oh, I saw, I saw a crow, a black crow. Be careful. I saw a black crow picking up Tupperware outside of my house. It was the strongest crow I've ever seen. Keep going. That's a bionicle. That's not a crow. That is a fake bird, and you look like you're about to shit your pants. <laughs> Santa's hot. Santa is hot. Good morning. Uh, Show me that skirt. No. If I ever went, first off, if I even went to a friend's house, we were close. I only went to, like, I didn't have play dates with, like, school acquaintances. Like, if I was going to your house, we're, we're locked in. I get that. So, but that the, rule applies. Don't care. But the parents were the ones that told me. Okay. Like, make yourself at home. You're not. I'm not making you a sandwich. Which, you're no longer a guest. I get that. If okay. you want a sandwich, you're making it. I get that. So it was kind of like, that. you know me. I gotta eat. So. I get that. And this is the big rule that I think even adults have a problem with. If you're going into a room, like say their whole family's there or whatever, or some of their friends are there, mm. you say hi. Oh my god. To everybody. I hate when people But don't I have sleep. a problem with that because I'm socially anxious. So if you make eye contact with me, my lower half shuts down. I'm numb. <laughs> All right. It doesn't work down here. Nothing. I you you tell me it's like I got spaghetti o knees. Stop winking at me. It's so itchy. It's like I got spaghetti o knees. And everybody's a little iffy about me when I walk in the room because they're like, he stinks. He's so tall. He's and there's a lot of large. hair. Yeah. A lot of hair on all locations. There's this weird odor. There's this weird odor. You look like you've been electrocuted. Did you just spit? You're <laughs> he put his hat on like backwards. He looks like an elf now. There's a line right up your head. There you go. Stop that. No, that's not. No. The line is not supposed to be right there. Right there. There you go. But <laughs> you look awful. <laughs> no, okay. You know, you got to You know how, I, I don't know if I was just like dumb. Yeah. Or whatever as yeah. a kid. I literally was so anxious to speak to my friend's parents. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to call them. I would literally say, um, excuse me, Jason's mom. 
I oh, would say you're that to a them. loser. I didn't know how to say Mrs. Jamie, or Miss. Jamie, Miss Jamie, whoa. Miss Sanchez. Whoa. Whoa. Mi- whoa. I didn't know. You would hit the first name even with no. a miss. That's wrong. No, I never did that. I never did that. I always messed up because but all d- my parents' friends were divorced, and I would say Miss the the dad's name, and they'd be like, Mm-mm, "Don't do that." And I was like, "I'm confused on why." You but were like, okay. I'm gonna walk home now. <laughs> okay. And, like, one thing about me, though, I'm a big snacker, right? Oh, yeah. I'm a huge snacker. I've always been a snacker. Be me careful. Too. Don't you say it. Me too. Because I've always been a snacker. Be careful. I've, I've, been, I, I've always been a snacker. So, it would be hard for me not to go scavenge chips, right? Like, like a pretzel is my favorite chip. It's always been my favorite chip. A pretzel is not a, even a chip. A pretzel is 100% not a chip. I feel like you just like to debate with me now. Like, that's our thing. I feel like you say stupid shit all the time and you believe it with every ounce in you. How, how the hell is a pretzel not a chip? Have you ever got a... Actually, you just answer that. How is a pretzel not a chip, Mrs. How, Claus? The easiest way to say is how is a pretzel a chip? Okay. Why, why is your neurons firing and you go, pretzel chip? Be careful. Why is that? <laughs> because have you ever gotten one of those big family packs of assorted chips, right? It's got Cheetos. Oh, oh it's- shut up and answer. <laughs> ever got one of those big boxes that says Doritos, Cheetos, Flamingos, Lay's. Yeah. <laughs> All that. What else is that? What's always the last one to go? The rolled gold pretzels. The pretzels. And guess what's in the chip bag? A pretzel is 100% a cracker. It is not a chip. It's not a chip at all. It's not even made from the same shit the chips are made of. What does that mean? The base of it. It's not. It's a pretzel. What is it? What's the base of a pretzel? And what's the base of a chip? Uh, chips aren't made of dough, dumbass. What? You don't have to knead out dough and then make a pretzel. So, so idiot. chips aren't bread. Hey, I didn't you work at the chip that. factory, dumbass. I don't know. You just said chips aren't bread. I don't know. They're I'm asking you bread. a question. What are they? Dumbass. What are they? Chips. Oh, so I can I can go to the the chip factory and be like, can I get the chip beginning? What's the chip beginning? I think corn base. It's damn sure not bread. Okay. And it's damn sure not dough. Okay, 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 okay. Say it's the same at the beginning. Say it's the same, because we don't know. You're just saying things you don't know. You don't know. A pretzel is dough. Go to Auntie Ants and look at it and make it. That's bitch. different. That's different. A fluffy a fluffy pretzel is different from a chip pretzel. Hey, if they leave it in the oven for six hours, it's gonna no. excuse me. <laughs> if they leave it in the oven for six hours, it's gonna get hard. No. Just like rolled. No, gold. I'm talking about the little ones. The little ones with the salt on them. No! 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 Same do- no! Listen. You're making my head itch. What do chips come in? What do chips come in? What do chips come in? A bag. What do you pretzel? What do rolls? Not even fucking true. Pringles come in tubes. No, okay, that's. A, I'm talking about the chip boxes. It wouldn't be in there if it wasn't a chip. Okay, okay, okay. So if they put yogurt in there, I'm not gonna say that's a, like you know what I mean. They used to just put yogurt in there. They're just putting random shit in the chip box. It, oh, oh, it's just my a left box. ear went numb. It's just a box. That's all it is. They wouldn't just put random shit in there. There's a reason. It's because it's there's a close, chip. Bro. They're cousins. They're second cousins. So they can kiss and it's not weird. Arkansas. Hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> they are cousins. They are not one and the same. They're not one and the so same. So they're related though. They're family. They're related, but they're not it's the a same. It's a chip. A pretzel is a cracker. Okay. Okay. There's a difference. There's different kinds of pretzels, right? A Cheeto puff is the same thing as a pretzel. What? A Cheeto puff is the same thing as a pretzel. No, it is not. A Cheeto is a chip. A Cheeto, what's a Cheeto puff? The fluffy one, what's the ball? It's not What's the dough. ball? What's the ball? What's it's a p- chip. You think a Cheeto puff is a cracker? It's closer to a cracker than a, than a pretzel. How is it close, closer than a cracker? Because of the, 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 the texture of it. When you, buy the, when you buy the pretzel, what does it go? When, do you, when, you, get a, when you get a pretzel, what does it go? <laughs> exactly. What does happen when you get a Cheeto puff? <laughs> oh, you heard that. What happens when you eat a Dorito? <laughs> yeah, what happens when you eat a pretzel? <laughs> okay! <laughs> what happens when you eat steak? Okay. What happens when you eat cereal? No, it's not. What no, it's ha- not. What happens, what, no, it's what happens not. when you eat oatmeal? No, it's not. Oatmeal's not soft. It doesn't crunch, dumbass. I'm not crunching. A steak doesn't crunch? Unless you're putting that bitch in an oven and leaving it for days. I definitely put steak in an oven before. And leaving it for days. Unless you're making jerky, ass wipe. It's, what is jerky? Meat, not a chip. <laughs> what, do, what do you classify as a chip? What is the, the basis of a chip for you then? The chip you're talking about because it's in the same fucking see, box. See how you don't answer my question? Do you just like to argue with me? Chips. Santa's oh, not a happy camper. The easiest thing. Santa's not gonna get happy pleasure if he keeps it up. Chips <laughs> are not made of dough. Pretzels are. Are you 100 percent sure on that? I'm asking you a question. Are you just saying things that you are almost believe is true? 
If we went to Auntie Ants. I asked you a question, I am dog. One, I am 100%. <laughs> I am, what the hell? I am 100% pretzels are made of dough. Cause I've seen it. Hey. With my eyes. What life did you live before here? Where you were at the pretzel factory? Hey, maybe once there was a long line in Auntie Anne's and instead- That's what I'm saying, that's where you're wrong. You're talking about Auntie Anne's, that's fluffy. That's carnival it's food. It's a fucking pretzel! No, I'm talking about the rolls gold ones. What are they called? It's rolled gold. Rolled not, gold. Uh, not rolls gold. Have you ever gone to Auntie Anne's and opened out a bag like this and goes, you ever done that to no. a bag? All right, so it's not. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you go like that, it's in a chip tell bag me with one the Doritos. Reason, tell me one reason a pretzel is a chip outside that they're sold in the same bag. Crunch the same. They oh. crunch the same. And it's put in a box of chips and it's in the chip aisle. It's in the chip aisle. Pretzels are in the chip aisle. You know what else is on the chip aisle? Pistachios. Are those chips? No, it's not. No, it is not. That is in the protein Pist aisle. Nuts and beef jerky aren't on the chip aisle. No, it's in the it's in the health aisle with the protein the powders. Health aisle. Where do you shop at? Whole Market? No. Whole Foods? You go to Kroger, Target, anywhere. It's all, there's that line that has all the... the, the Rice inner... cakes are on the chip aisle. Are those chips? No, that's not. What grocery store do you go to? Air One, you bougie bitch. You said there was shelved bacon in the past. I don't you know where they got it. bastard. They do, and I got proven that. I get. I got proven that. Nice <laughs> sentence. Oh, sorry. Asshat. I went to private school because my parents were rich. Sorry, I, I never went to. Private sorry, school. I got LASIK surgery when I was six years old. Never had LASIK. Sorry, I, just I know had... that something made of dough and something not made of dough are not the same thing. Cam's on steroids. Excuse me. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'd be much bigger if I was on steroids. Oh. Hey, nice hat, asshole. And I, you too. You look yeah. like my grandma before she. I love her. I miss her a lot. But it's, it's fact. She would like the joke. <laughs> Bro, no. You actually, you have me. Th a pretzel is not a chip. It's not. You don't know anything about shit about nothing. Tell me one reason. I'm not having this debate anymore because you're you not can't. answering my you question. Can't. I answered you. You said tell me why it's not. I said dough. It looks like Spider Man. Just shot a web in your mouth when you did that. What? You fuck, you swallowed it. Oh my god. What was I supposed to do with it? Get, put it in my hand? Spit it out. Wait, oh, okay. That's the thing about you. See, you're so contradictory. You're so contradictory because every week I spit and I get a call from you. I get a call from Liv. I get a call from my mom. I get a call from my dad. I get a call from your mom. That was really fast. And y'all say, stop spitting. And so when I spit swallow. On the carpet. First off, you chose to hawk a loogie, you creep. I had to. Why? I, I've been waking up gagging on myself. I can't remember you the last CPAP. That's what you you're need. saying these medical terms, bro. Did you? What did you not do, bro? What you went to the X Men school? You know everything, don't you? Golly, bro. Just say I don't know. I don't know something. God damn, dude. You make me itch on Christmas. It's Christmas. People are with their family. Oh, speaking of Christmas, I hope you're enjoying the good pretzel crackers at your Christmas. It's chips. Cracker. It's in a chip box. Matter of fact, I think some of them literally say cracker on the back. The snack, I think no. they literally say cracker. You think. There you go. Thank you. You don't know. Fact check? No. So I'm not talking about Christmas. So I don't want to talk about this anymore. Talk about, I don't want to talk about this anymore. You're 100% honest they don't say pretzel? I know. I, can, I, I don't say shit that I don't know. I, I say stuff that I know. But you're speaking as if you do know it. Because I'm saying the things I know. So do they say cracker? I don't know. Hmm. Let's talk about Christmas. And there's something that pisses me off, right? <clears throat> and I haven't got this experience in a while. But now that I live in a home, I'll Are start getting again. <laughs> God, Santa needs your inhaler. I was trying to, I really was trying to gauge. I said, is he, is he out of breath right yeah, now? No, Santa's been running around. Hey, here we go. <laughs> that was a long at all, dog. You were an Olympian. Of course you were. What'd you do? You're an Aquarian too? God damn. Yeah, Lee. Kim got his fishing license last week. Didn't you? No. Yeah, dude. I went fishing once. Kim also like went to basic training with SEAL Team 6. Uh, I left my... <laughs> Listen, Christmas lights, right? Okay. It's a magical thing. Christmas lights are special. Golly, Mrs. Claus, why so high? It's like it's set up prim and proper. Thank you. Cross your legs for me. Show me a little thigh. Show daddy a little thigh. Dude, honestly, if we were in a zombie apocalypse, right? And they talked about this on 10 Minute Talks. If they were on a zombie apocalypse, I would turn on you after a while. <laughs> why? You would hold us back. Matter of fact, you'd be the only... I would be the only reason you're alive. No, because you have the best meat. Not like that. I mean, like, if, wow. like, like, if we need, Hello. like, if we had to turn on each other, if we, 
If we had to turn on each other, right? And we had I to, I'd eat your dog first. I'd kill her, snap her neck, take her legs off, put it on a grill. I'd kill your dog. Then I would be like, if we had to start going towards humans. You'd be dead before you took your first bite. <laughs> if we had to start going towards humans, right? No one would want to eat me. You eat me, you get poisoned. <laughs> yeah, you eat him, you get fucking rotten flesh, bad meat on the bone. There's not much meat at all, just sticky, pointy bones, really hairy skin. It would not be a good entree. It wouldn't be a good course. But after I looked at your thigh, you probably have the purest meat. I do. You probably have the healthy meat. I do have healthy meat. I would cut your. I would cut your. Would you let me cut your leg in a zombie apocalypse to eat you? Um, absolutely but not. We, but you know you'd live. Absolutely not. But we needed to eat. I'll go find food. We, we can't. You can. We're an underground bunker. We go out. There's radiation gas. Okay, you're not cutting my leg. So you, if, you, if you'd came, rather you'd rather your whole family and friends kaput than than us eat your leg. Why can't I eat yours? We just said it. I have nasty meat. I'm not, I'm good for a little choke. <laughs> the fact that I was gonna say gag, but I switched to choke, and I thought I'd make it any better. <laughs> I'm good for a little nasty meat, some salt and pepper on that joint. Why can't we team up and figure out the problem? See, you're so quick to turn. That's something about you. You're a fast turner. You turn quick. In the car as well. Oh, my God. In the car today. You're quick. Oh, oh my God. Santa had a bad sleigh right up here. When I tell you Santa almost shot Rudolph in the skull with a 22, I shit you not. Guys, we are literally not in costume. We're just driving. We are going down the road. Right? We actually have been stuck for like 30 minutes in traffic. It was horrible. I swear to God, out of nowhere, we're just talking. Yeah, bro, no, that's crazy. I actually think I should call Wham! <laughs> and a rock just <laughs> shattered his Tesla again. We were silent. Again, he has three cracks in his windshield now. And it goes, it, this is how it goes. Every bro, time I schedule an appointment oh for like $1,400 to fix no, it. No, the first one. The first, tell him the first one. The first time it got cracked, he calls appointment. They're like, it'll be about 1000 on the dot to fix this big crack. We'll get you good. There you go, because then it went up, and now there's going to be more. And so I'm like, I'm about to go get it fixed, right? I schedule the appointment. And then again, wham! I get another crack. And I'm like, Jesus, at least I didn't get that one fixed, and I had to spend more. You're like, you call them, they're like, yeah, it's actually 14 now. You're like, what happened to my quote? Yeah. And then, so I've been looking to get it fixed now. And then today, and we literally, once it got, it got cracked today, I started crying. <laughs> it was, I, God, I should have took a picture. It was so funny. I felt so bad, because I, like, I would be pissed if that happened to my car, but... God, I was like, oh my God, it's just your luck. He literally was crying in the middle of traffic. Oh my God, it was so funny. But do you think, uh, I, this is a conspiracy and I want to get into a, a Actually, I was talking about Christmas lights. This is what I was talking about. So Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. When is too early to oh put up God. Christmas lights and when is too late or too, Santa's going to have a stroke. When is too late to take him down? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yes. When it, when is the two when when are the parameters? When is it okay, the parameters, parameters putting for up, Christmas lights? Putting up and putting down. The start date is it's in my book it is it's not even subjective. It okay. is literally an objective date. Okay. You cannot put your Christmas lights up before Thanksgiving. Thank you. You cannot. Thanksgiving I don't give a day. Shit. You're, Thanksgiving that's day, your go-to. As soon as you eat, if you don't Black Friday shop, hell, you can go take your nap and start putting them up right Yo, there. Get it up to the attic. That's fine. We'll get them out. If it is on an hour, a, a second before Thanksgiving meal is had, you're in the wrong. Period. Now, I might be crazy on about taking them down. You go first. I went first on First this. of all, hey, if it's July and you got a lit up reindeer in your front yard, I'm the calling hell. the police, dog. Yeah. That's an HOA violation. 100%. SWAT's going to kick down the door. Like, I'm going to need those HOAs. Like fees. your inflatable snowman, really cool. You spent $300 for it to be up for a month. Take it down, though. It's not us. Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> On the snowman. So oh, I'm, this is my thing. I'm really nervous about what you're about to say. I start to get a little upset when it's four days out of Christmas, and the, I'm still seeing stuff. That's a little early, but I'm ready. We're on the new year. New year, new you. Get out. Four days? Four days. That's a bit It's, it's crazy. But That's but but much. but I would say there's like on day seven after after Christmas, Christmas is over. The holly jolly spirit's done. You know what I mean? It should be. And it, oh, it is. The spirit is. But so why is that up? Because it's like that's. I'm not gonna lie. You wouldn't be the best to argue that. Why? If it went to your personal life. Why? Why is that trash there? What What do you mean? Wait, wait! Don't touch me. What do you mean? What I do? You said Christmas is over. Put the lights up. Yeah. I'm like, hey, you ate that Chipotle last year. <laughs> Why is the bowl still there? 
There's a, a fermented biome of bacteria. That's growing not true. In. That's not, you've gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better because but I no, have an adequate trash system now. There you do. Yeah, we did. Uh, we I, find, yeah. Don't touch me. Okay. Well, uh, four days is a bit aggressive. The, this is the that's thi mildly aggressive. Yeah, and, but this is the thing now with me. I actually have a fridge that's big, right? You do. I don't have that one column anymore. Fridge. Oh. Oh my god. I'm having a hard time of taking things out of the fridge because I want that space to be utilized. You can I'm, tell them what's in there. I was just about to say, pa Patreon or tell them here? You tell them here. Y'all, if you open this man's fridge, I s <laughs> bottle of ranch, six pizza boxes, two of which are are bone dry. There's nothing in it. Just cardboard in a fridge. <laughs> you know the little tr uh, the, the tray that comes out for like your veggies or your meats and cheeses? He just has two to-go boxes in there from miscellaneous restaurants. <laughs> Top left sector. There's a 24 pack of Red Bull. I didn't know they made those. I did not know they sold 24 Red Bulls at once. <laughs> Below that, seltzers. I mean, it is. Shout it, the nectar. It is unbelievable. This uh, man's fridge. But because I've never had that luxury, I've never had that luxury. And oh this, my God, your pantry's not better. I don't have anything in my pantry. I your don't know pantry, what to cook. Your pantry is literally cereal, Minute Maid mashed potatoes, and 47 different chips to choose from. Like pretzels. It's literally the Idaho spuds that you just add a <laughs> drop of water and, it's, and you whip it up. A box of cereal. He doesn't even have milk. And 60 things of chips. You didn't have milk. I don't have almond milk in my right in my right side, in my right corner pocket. I didn't see it. Oh, isn't that crazy? How you're willing to I defile me on the internet? I didn't see it. You, you defile me in the bedroom, and then you defile... When, when are these gonna stop? I don't know. You, you're wearing that dress real good. I am. I give it I'm gonna curves. take that apron off you. No, some. I need to. I need to see someone. This, for what? Oh my God! Hippie is back. We were leaving the mall. Cam literally limped. I had to carry yeah. him one arm, dude. It was out of the mall. It was right, right in the middle of a fan interaction. Yeah. He, yeah. Like and it was like a real fan that so they knew the hippie jokes. Basically, we literally left, and I was trying to make fun of how he was walking, and it immediately, God doesn't like Arlie. He doesn't like Arlie? <laughs> My head is so itchy. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Keep that fucking head on. Hell no. Check his... Or I'm coming! <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <gasps> I meant to say God doesn't like ugly and karma struck immediately. I was making fun of his walk and in doing so, my hip went out of socket. I was in immense pain. The second we're walking, and my, I'm like, ah, ah, they're like, Peyton and Cam, pay Oh my God. Mrs. Claus is Get wet. The camera off. Get the camera off. <laughs> Dude, you're gross. Honestly, you've been smelling really bad recently. That's because I didn't shower yesterday. <laughs> oh my god, oh, let's talk about that. Cam, so Liv had a girls' night with uh, Hannah and Ashlyn. They all did their thing. Cam and Ryan and Danny all came and stayed with me. We're going to have an extended episode with them uh, in Patreon out right now. Look, Cam came over. Right? We were playing 2K, drinking. It was a little warm in my house. But you know, we're boys. Why is it warm in your house? <laughs> no, but it's it's it was a little warm in my house. You know, boys, we're playing games. We're playing video games. We're drinking a little seltzer. Shout out to Nectar, our friends over there. We're playing a little video games. We're farting and shit in our pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm getting a little powder donut. <laughs> army man, just farting a little bit, beatboxing. Yeah. And then it gets to that point in the night when the alcohol is flowing, you're having fun times, and then you're playing a little UFC, right? You've seen Israel Adesanya get knocked seven times in a row, and you're like... I want to do that. <laughs> Peyton said, you can beat me in this game, but you can't beat me in real life. So we start to wrestle. I, honestly, I am better than you, but you're just way more than me. You have better lungs than me. That's it. That's it. I literally, I was controlling you, and then you were like, let me use my pure hip size and lay it on your frail body. To make a long story short, I ended in the most physically dominant position you could be. He was Normally, he mounts me with... You never threw elbows. Oh, no, I never had to. Anyway, so we were wrestling, right? We were getting a little stanky. We were getting a little sweaty. We were getting so a little sweaty. nasty. And then Ryan comes in. He wrestles Ryan for a little bit. Now we're sweating and wet and Another gross. Time. Cam had on sweatpants and a t-shirt. It was bad, bro. I don't, know, I don't know what came over me. We go out that night. We're drinking. We're having fun. <laughs> it's nasty. We're in public sweating. Full 24 hours go by. 
The girls come back. They are all done up looking real pretty, smelling like roses and butterflies and Bambi. Cam has on the same outfit. And he smells like... And the, bro, the worst thing is... The, I mean, this is a literal gut punch. When your wife walks in, her friends are there, right? They're my friends, too. They're not her friends. They're my friends, too. It's like, hey, you look great. Hey, you look great. Awesome. Hey, babe, I love you. I haven't seen you. The first words that came out of Liv's mouth. You stink. And it, it, it is, it's literally just like a gut punch. And bro. we're, no, we were driving here today. We were driving the studio today. I, that's, bu that's bullshit. That had to be the fart or the almonds. You, I, smell, you smelled like the color yellow. It, it was either fart or the almonds. You, but, I bathed. I put deodorant. I did everything. No, but you have this thing about you where like, if you, if you, I don't know, like you smell like outdoors. You know what I mean? You don't smell fresh. You smell like you spent a day on the river fishing. I smell like Boy Scout. Camp. You smell like you caught a bass and you've kept it in your back pocket. <laughs> I smell like I just learned how to do an amazing knot. <laughs> no, that excuse me. <laughs> that was a that was a rough time. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, gonna but lie. I think you're getting nastier than me. I think you, I was just about to give you a compliment, you oh, dirty bitch. Okay. I think you are. What's going on? I don't in know the, what's going yeah, on in the back. I was about to give you a compliment. Oh, you about dirty, what? Rude asshole, and you just made fun of me. Wait, what was your compliment? I was gonna say you've been starting to smell a lot better. I know. I've been bathing in cologne. You have, but it's an investment though. It is. It is an investment. I have two colognes now. You do. They're both very nice. But no, we were going out the other night and I put on cologne and I was feeling good about myself. And then we were about to go, we, but we did a little sporting events. We did whatever. And Cam, I was like, Cam was like, hey, I have 17 colognes. Do you want to wear one? And I go, no, bro, I just put on cologne. He sniffs me and he goes, no, you probably need some more. <laughs> Honest brother answer. Nah, I, I guess. You had it on for six hours. We were hanging out, doing guy shit, farting, beatboxing, spitting some rhymes, maybe a little <laughs> wrestle, maybe a little half, you know, headlock. I said, hey, just pick one. He said, I don't want to mix. All right, <laughs> chemistry. But uh, since it's Christmas time, mm -hmm. I think it's it's the only right thing to do is help the people out. Okay. I think the love doctor should come. <laughs> Dr. P. Dr. P. You got something for me, Secretary Kim? All right, I think I found one, buddy. Uh, you don't sound like my I secretary. I think I found one, go. Sonia. There, there we go. go. All right, right, I need something, but okay. I need something toxic. Like, I need, like, I want to help them in a real way, and then I want to help them in a toxic way. Because that's what Dr. P does. Once that pelvis starts to pelvic, you know what I mean? Once those hips are swinging. You like my hips, the, Mrs. Claus. The rope's ringing. I don't. Be careful about the rope. I, I think I found one. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I think I found one, Sonia. Here we go, Lord. Dear Dr. P. Hello. I was talking to this guy for a few months. Things seemed like they were going good. Okay. All of a sudden, he started just getting dry with his text. Oh, yeah, all right. Okay. I asked him if we were good and if he was just busy. All yeah, right. Then he ghosted me. Ooh. Ghosted. Some calls him Casper. Ghosted. <laughs> okay. Was I wrong for asking him that? Oh, no. Here's the spicy part. <clears throat> also... How do I make him regret his decision? Oh my oh, God, I love this. Oh, she's right. coming for hearts. Hold on, you she's see it. The hips are going. Dr. You're, P you're, is feeling it. Dr. P is feeling it. You're humping the air. What First of all, all right. So they've been talking for some months, right? For some months is her words. I can tell you right now. A few months. I can tell you right now to her, it was exclusive. He was doing his own thing. Let me break that to you right now. He was out there. He was. What? He, you you he always was at break a, their heart. He was at a great buffet. And you just were the main platter. Yeah. <laughs> he was getting nice sides. <laughs> He got carrots. He smelled good. He tried it. Yeah. Okay, so they were talking for some months. Talking he started for a few getting months, dry. Seemed seemed really good. All of a sudden, he started getting very dry. I asked him if we were good, and if he was just busy, he ghosted me. Okay, this is the thing. I'm gonna tell you what it is, and I know this because I'm the best love doctor in the world. This is very true, Sonia. He was liking the rhythm that they had. Months. Talking, right? Talking, maybe doing the canoodles. Maybe, you know, y'all are having good vibes, good fun. A little he devil just, tango. You were his favorite. And I, I talk about this often on Dr. P. There's ranking systems. There is. You were just the favorite at that time. And it, it hurts to hear, but that's what I'm for. It's like, was she an MVP caliber player? Was she, she was. The, she was a starting point guard. But then she asked for a contract extension. Now she's not even a six man. Role exactly. player, vet minimum. So he was fine. Like he was like, I'm gonna ghost you for. I'm, I'm gonna be dry for a little bit because I'm entertaining my Caesar salad right now. Oh, I, me. My, my Caesar salad had a lot of croutons on it. And I love croutons. So he was eating that. He was putting ranch dressing on it. But you were the steak. But let him enjoy that Caesar salad for a little bit. Once you asked that question of like, 
why are you spending so much time on the appetizer? He said, oh no, my steak is getting cold. I don't like that. And he dipped out. Now, what did she do after he ghosted? I don't have, I, I don't have. No, but didn't she on, say? She said, was I wrong for asking him? Also, how do I make him regret his decision? Okay, now this is what I love. And I love you. And I, me, me and you would get along. You and Dr. P would be good in a cocoon together. You know what I mean? Because you have that toxic side to you. I'm a, I'm a small butterfly about to spread my wings on a, on a spring in April. Don't wink at them. Don't talk to me. Okay. So this is, this is what I'd say. I like that. You get back. Huh. You get back. Hopefully, she met the friend group. Oh, God. You're going, you're going. You're digging deep. Well, if he ghosted you, to hell with them. Piss on him. He likes Caesar salad better. Show him your filet mignon. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> filet mignon. <laughs> Show him your filet mignon. <laughs> Don't wink at me. You go find that best friend. You know what I mean? You go find that best friend. What you do is you throw that crouton to that best friend. You'd be like, do you like steaks? Why are you winking at me? <laughs> Stop it. You flirt with the friend. You see if that friend is a bad friend. Most best friends are bad friends. They'll, 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 get with, they'll get with the ex. You know what I mean? So what you'll do is flirt with them lightly. Just flirt. Be like, hey, how you doing? Don't even bring up that guy. Y'all don't know he exists. Bring up that guy. Have some dates. Don't jump too fast into it. Bring him in. Rope him in. Rope him in with that nice little filet mignon you got. Yeah. Show him that butter knife. You know Rope what I mean? <laughs> then you get under him. What does that mean? You get under We're, We've jumped to coitus. Yeah. We've broken well, the barrier. If you want. If you're an adult, you can this, do what you remember, want. Remember, this is Dr. P. This, this is Dr. This P. Is this is not, not Peyton. This is not Uncle P. Dr. This P. This is Dr. P. You smooch They're the best friend. You making... smooch the best friend. You smooch at, at the most. You under smooch. Him. What does that mean? You exactly? can kiss under somebody. Or a Spider-Man kiss. Okay. You smooch him. Okay. And then you let it be known. Or, oh my God, this is the good toxic move. You go on a coffee date with that guy. If you don't even want to kiss the best friend, that's fine. You go on a coffee date with the best friend. You take a picture of that coffee, make sure that friend's hand is in that picture. And you post that on your story, no caption. <laughs> no caption. <laughs> oh my God, he's going to lose his mind. And then he's going to text you. He's going to be like, I shouldn't have got with that Caesar salad. What are you doing with my best friend? He's like, damn, that steak's smelling nice. And then you'll be like, this steak was ordered by somebody else. Good. The yeah. kitchen then took it to somebody else to another table. Oh, this shit's fucking medium. Yeah, yeah. There's a, shake, there's a steak shortage over here. Oh, God. That's how you do it. How do you feel about that? Was that a good, is that a good advice? You, I mean, you're the best love doctor. You're the best love doctor. Excuse me. <laughs> you're the best love doctor. That's no. But what would you say? Well, how would you go about it? You know, I'm a gentle heart. I'm not. I'm not the toxic guy. I don't believe revenge. Oh, so is you the would say just move on? I go. He wasn't for you, but he hurt her. He manipulated you. <laughs> Pray for him. We don't harbor hate. We move on. And that's why you're not the best love doctor in the world. And that's why you are. And, and that's, that's why, why I'm. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Doctor P. Another day another of Doctor P. Another beautiful, another client satisfied, I'm taken care lie. of. Doctor P is a toxic son of a bitch. Uh, I do not a, agree with just much. He says the TV. Almost you're, you're you're hitting the TV. My mic stand is is long. But you know, my mic stand. And she rocked my mic in the park. Lift up that skirt for for daddy. Hello. This is what I want to say. It is Christmas time, Cameron. It is. And I think it's only right that I give you a Christmas gift. Absolutely not. In front of the You Should Know podcast. Absolutely not. My heart immediately <sighs> doubled in beats per minute. I'm very nervous. I've been nervous this whole Dr. P segment because I know what's about to happen. Why are you? Why are you? <laughs> Shout out to our friends at Nectar. We got a. Uh, we got to do this together. All right. Uh, uh, I don't think I feel good. I don't. I'm shaking. I'm about to gag. It's right. I feel like right before the LA Live show. I'll need an ambulance. All right, Cam. Oh. Uh, let's get serious for a minute. This is a comedy podcast, but. All right, bitch. <laughs> but you are my best friend in the whole world. <sighs> yeah. You have single-handedly changed my life by joining this. I, you, this is way too many good words before a. <laughs> Like I, I just get, give me like a jersey or something. You lift up your your skirts falling. On no no on the on the thing. Excuse me. You single handedly changed my life joining this podcast, uh. and I'm very bad at emotionally expressing that with words. So it is Christmas time, and we have been blessed enough to be put in a position I can get you a Christmas gift. My cap's getting tighter. <laughs> so I want to get you a Christmas gift right now. Am I closing my eyes? No. Oh God Almighty! Why does he do this? It's a heavy bag. 
Koalas, why does he do this? My head's just fucking itching. Santa Claus got you a gift. That's the worst Christmas bag I've ever seen. That's something you give to like Delilah on her eighth birthday at like at like 21 Jump House. I Who's Delilah? I don't know. Here we go. We're both so nervous. Here you go. Here's your gift. Open it up. Now open it up slow, right? Open it up slow. Oh, there's some weight. It's heavy. It's a heavy gift. I love you. I can't. I can't. I love you. I want you to enjoy this I gift. I can't do it. You can. Open up this gift. No, open it up on your lap. On your lap. So the camera can see it. Oh. Just open, take the wrapping out. Take the wrapping out. All of it. Now pick up that pick up that box. No, you didn't. Tell them what you see. Put the mic close to you. This is this is okay. This is some this is some Mike Kennedy shit. This is hundred percent not what the gift is. Open There's it up. something in this box. Open it up. There's Tell them what you see. This what is, is that? So this is an off-white shoe box. I got him some okay? off-white shoes. An expensive pair of shoes. Oh, oh, I know you, serpent. Look at him. He's not even trying. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, Open it, it up. It wouldn't have been that easy. Open it up towards the camera. I can't see it. I don't know what it is. Look at it. Look at your off-white shoes. <laughs> it's like my, my, my most beat-up pair of shoes. Show him the camera. Show the camera. I gave him my old Air Forces. We've had great memories while I'm wearing those shoes. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like, awesome <laughs> gift. <laughs> uh, this, you're playing the slow game. It's making it worse. Don't throw those shoes. I don't want to open this shoe. This one has the wrapping and I don't want to open it. It's okay, but be very careful whenever you take that. Pick that whole shoe up and be very careful. Put your cat back on. Please put your cat back on. Please put your cat back on. Now I want you to pick up the whole shoe, right? Pick up the whole shoe. There's a little something special in that one. Now very carefully grab that whole red thing. That whole thing. This shoe is f***ed. <laughs> like look at this. This shoe is mutilated. All right, Kurt. I'm and so he's nervous. not even looking me in I'm the so eyes. I'm so nervous. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, bro. I'm, I'm very bad at giving gifts. Here we go. I'm undeserving. <laughs> Here, all right. Carefully open that. Okay. Now, as you do it, I want to say you're my best friend in the world. I love you and thank you for everything you've done. And that's a small token of my appreciation for you. I don't like the size. My mind is starting to race. Just don't guess. Just open. And enjoy. Make sure the camera sees. <laughs> <laughs> make sure. Make sure we get. <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to... Kim, I got you. <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Bro, why? <laughs> Open it up. I don't... Dis Just open it up. I got Kim his uh... first ever Rolex. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I am undeserving. <laughs> Take I, it I'm out. about to throw up. Yeah. <laughs> I got you first ever Rolex. I know you would never get that for yourself. Uh, Bro, why would yeah. you do this? Yeah. So now we can be twins. <laughs> I'm literally shaking. My hand is shaking. I'm shaking too. I love you, buddy. I, I hope you enjoy it. My hand is shaking. <laughs> Bro. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. You're going to have to get it sized on you, but... <laughs> Cam is now in the Rolex family. <laughs> Come here, Jesus man. I love you, buddy. Christ. Uh, why would you do that? I love you, buddy. Oh, I don't deserve this. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you I do. Apple watches. Apple watches about my level. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even. Yeah. I'm my. I can't like breathe right. I can't look. At it. I can't breathe right. I feel like I'm, I'm very bleak. nervous. My heart hurts. Oh my God, it's stunning though. Yeah. Shout out to Vukum. Vukum has been helping me out a lot in this process. So. Vukum, you dirty dog. <laughs> yeah. And you got your first ever little, little time piece there. Oh, my God. One more time for Thank Cam getting his first Rolex. No, 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 no. One more time for Uncle P on the fucking gift of the century. Yeah. Thank no, no problem. Ah. Bro, this is, that's like way, this, I'm going to put it in your jewelry box. No, oh, I if you, you do know. that, I'll kill you and everybody you love. You know I'm literally going to be like, bro. No, you're, no, you're going to wear that every day. <laughs> like, if you don't have it, that's too dangerous. Every time I see him, be like, show me your wrist. Bro. Yeah, yeah, enjoy it. No shit. You're, I'm like, I don't even, I, I don't even feel like I want to even touch it. Literally, I'm like, this is too. Uh, you own it, so. Bro.
I'm shaking. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm shaking like shit. Oh my god. Why? What's the name of it? So I can say it. It's a Rolex date just. <laughs> yeah, I hit that little uh yeah. Oh my god, bro. And now music's Why? gonna start hitting a little different for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like ah, <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Oh. I gave oh. you like a classier one that's like it gave me very cam vibes when I was going through them. 100%. Oh my God, yeah. bro. I'm putting it in your jewelry box. I don't yeah. care. If you put it in my jewelry box, I'll kill you. Bro, why? There's going to be an indeed.com for co hosting You Should Know Podcast. This is, this is like, this is. No. It, it's happened. I mean, it's yours. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I, no, don't. Okay, don't. No, I know you for like y'all, it. y'all, I'm, I'm also like, I am a uh, giver. We're yeah. both more like, we enjoy giving gifts over receiving. So mm -hmm. it's definitely easier for me to like, get something for someone else and give it to them and i love that because like it's just an amazing feeling but receiving them bro it's like damn like i don't it's just wild um santa claus is not done though we have another integral part of the you should know podcast now it's not now i'm gonna break it to you it's not that <laughs> it's, i can <laughs> he's like God, damn, santa's reindeer repeat. Yeah. no no food. no santa's santa's bank account is hurting bro <laughs> but uh Mama live, HBIC. Can you make it to the middle? Here, she can right. sit here. Yeah, okay, sit here. Bro, I'm giving you a hug. Okay, I love you, buddy. I love you too. Uh, oh, enjoy it, enjoy it. I want you to rock with pride. No shit. All right. Now I feel like shit for like being like a brat about like. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. Is it? It's a break. I shattered your off my mind. It's a. It's a very small gift. Oh, it's a small I, gift. I, but here you go. Oh, thank you. I hope everything's right. Because <laughs> if not. Mrs. Claus Shoes. helped me out a lot. What? Mrs. Claus we gotta take care of Mama Liv. Okay. Mrs. Claus with some kick. I had to get you some. I had to get you right. I, I had to get you right. Yeah, I had to get you right. Thank you. Thank now check the size, cause Santa might have fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. Santa might have fucked up. But Santa has the receipt. Santa could go back. Uh, these are uh, seven youth, which I believe is an eight and a half in women. <laughs> Santa f***ed up. Santa has the receipt, and Santa will get those in your size. This is, uh, Are you sure? It could fit. You could double sock it. No, I'm just kidding. No, you don't know. I can try them on. You never know. No, no, it's fine. I, I made sure I had the receipt just for that. So we're, we're fine. We can go back. Thank it's, you, It's Payne. the place by my house. No problem. One more time for a You Should Know Christmas. Hey, okay. Oh, get moved. Switch. Y'all switch. Y'all switch get again. Up, get, get out. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> No you. problem. That's Uncle P, Santa P. All right. <laughs> okay, I have. We to, have like, to get I'm, it sized. I'm slowly. No, yeah. Well, of course, yeah. you gotta get sized. But this is. I have a place. I, I had to talk no... to them about it. Oh, you you have a place. You... Uh, oh yeah. I wonder why you have like, nice words. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's okay. Exact same I, one, I, so. have, I have slowly. Um, my heart has dropped back to semi regular. Okay. So I can I can speak a little more on it now. This is a unbelievable gift, and I truly don't like can't fully express it but just know this is like unreal yeah you thank know you, you can't look at me so in the much. eyes whenever we're talking about serious I shit thank, I thank you, yeah you suck with emotions <laughs> yeah. but uh bro this is unreal like this yeah. is it's i literally feel and this is stupid and i don't ever really say this but i don't like i don't feel because you know me like yeah i love that these things but you said it perfect like i would never i just can't stomach it to get it for myself exactly yeah. so bro Damn. Well, it's yours. You have it forever. That's a watch I will ask you for the rest of your life. You pass it to your kids one day, so. Bro, I'm, a, I'm literally going to, like, every night when I go to bed, I'm just be like, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, get her nice and ready for the morning. Bro. Yeah. You got your first Rolex, buddy. That's insane. That is, li that's literally insane. Yeah, Holy it's dope. shit. And thank you to the You Should Know podcast family for allowing us to be able to do cool things yes, like that. thank you to all of you. Koala Club members, non-koalas, anybody anybody that's following on any platform thank you all so so much and I, okay wait no no sorry go ahead don't this is i'm not gonna say we he's already received this christmas gift don't think i'm just a oh no bitch. no 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 okay. i've been taken care of by the kennedys and it was crazy the gift that they gave me i was thinking about it 30 minutes before and i was telling him i thought about it 30 minutes before because i was trying to do something and i couldn't due to i didn't have the thing i don't know if you want me to say it bro i can't even i can't even look at this what's yours you're gonna look at it every day for oh, the rest no, of your life it's, it's gonna take me oh my god yeah. it's gonna take me some time yeah
Shout out to Vukum one more time yes. for uh, Vukum, you dirty taking care of this. Um, also, oh. to help us recover from this, uh, <laughs> Tampa tickets are live right now. The link is in the description below. Uh, we're going to be in Tampa February 17th. We can all enjoy a great uh, post-birthday together. Uh, and then Austin, we're coming home, or I'm coming home, March 1st. And those tickets are coming out soon. You you do the outro. I can't even talk. I know. Right I'm so <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, bro. This is... I look, you want to get it. Oh, you have to get your haircut. I was like, I want you to get it sized before we go out tonight. And I want you to just. <laughs> I'm just like. <gasps> <laughs> Bro, this is unbelievable. Anybody want an Apple Watch? We <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> no. Um, no, I'll definitely. I won't wear this to the gym. Wait, do you wear them to the gym? Or is that like. Is that like. You're just a douche at that point? I mean, you could, but. I mean, you can like swim in that. You can take a shower in it, but I, I've never done it with mine. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, this was a fantastic Christmas episode. First and foremost, we hope all of you have been safe this holiday season. We hope all of you have spent time with some loved ones, whether that's families, friends, uh, significant others, anything. Make sure you cherish them. Make sure you tell them you love them and spend some time with them this holiday season. We hope you had a merry, merry Christmas. This was episode 92. Get your good karma and confuse the casuals with this week's secret code. This comes out on Christmas. Let's keep it simple. M. Mary. C. Christmas. E. Everyone. There you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. We love you so much. We hope you had a great Christmas. Um, happy New Year. We're approaching on episode 100. Episode 100. Oh, it's going to be a movie. They don't we even have, know. Wait, did we already tell them? Did we already We haven't to told them? them what we're doing. Okay. We told them we're, we have some crazy stuff playing. That might be like a two hour episode. Excuse me. Um, we love you guys so much. Thank you for allowing us to do cool things like this. Tampa, we can't wait to see you. February 17th. Uh, Austin, March 1st. The boy is coming back home, back in his stomping grounds. He pissed excellence in that town for 22 years. Damn it, he's not going to stop now. It's Austin, gonna be a crazy March show. 1st. Remember, the Tampa tickets are available now. Austin tickets are not, but the date is confirmed. So if you need to start making planes, trains, boats, floats, I don't care how you get there, it's March 1st. We cannot wait to see you. We love you guys. And remember, hey, this is the perfect day to say it. One out of two claw bears don't make it home to Christmas. And we will see you. Hello? You in there? Next time. See you, buddy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>